So uh, hi there everyone, this is again Alan and uh, today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be putting paints on my uh, portable painter. So just recently I bought this uh, portable painter from Art Nebula PH and um, I had a hard time choosing which uh, which colors and, and which brand actually to put on on my uh, portable painter and now I've finally chosen my uh, my colors I'm gonna show you how to have it in my uh, half pans in the portable painter so um, what I'm gonna be putting is uh, M gram watercolors watercolor and it's also from Art Nebula PH so the colors that I've chosen are Azo Yellow, Indian Yellow, Pyrrol Red, Quinacridon Rose, Ultramarine Blue, Thalo Cyanine Blue, Cobalt Teal, Sap Green, Raw Sienna, Terra Rosa, Raw Umber, and Paints, Paints Gray. So after a couple of uh, days um, figuring out which colors to choose I finally I finally come up with this uh, 12 colors that I'm gonna be using so I'm putting them but um, compared to uh, the other brands that I uh, put in uh, half pants like the Daniel Smith I'm putting very little amount of paints only because um, M gram as for those who do not know yet are very uh, fluid and they don't actually dry completely so to avoid uh, leaking or you know mixing uh, other colors um, I'm putting very very uh, small amount of paint in every tube so maybe just uh, a drop will do So the colors that I chosen are uh, primaries, two, um, two from each of the primary colors, one cool and one warm, and for um, the other six I've chosen earth colors and this cobalt teal which is my favorite because I believe it's not easy to achieve uh, cobalt teal and of course sap green which is you know very, very useful in making um, or in painting landscapes and leaves. It's leaking. Um, later on, we're going to level this palette down, these palettes, so that they won't, you know, so that they will settle down. And I'm gonna show you how. Cobalt teal is very gooey. Remember to uh, close your M gram very well because see it leaks very easily. The 
apologies to uh, the noises that come with this video because I'm shooting on in a roof deck so the there are noises there's noise And finally, our last color, paints gray. So as you can see, I only put very small amount of paint because this is very gooey and I don't want them to flow from one pan to the other. And we're gonna shake it slowly. And as you can see, the paints are now leveling so in the following days i believe they're going to settle a little bit more so i'm going to give you update oops this one is falling somewhere Some colors are more fluid that they have already settled, like these Roshiana teal, this uh, Thalo blue, and the paint gray. So for now, I'm gonna swatch them, and I'll later on put the swatch in the box or here, maybe here. So let's start swatching. In my swatch, I've included the name of each color. I ran out of, <laughs> of space, so I deleted some of my files. So let's continue. I choose to uh, use Roshiana instead of uh, Yellow Ochre because this uh, color is more transparent than Yellow Ochre. Oh, I. Okay, let's go with this. I've already put it in my brush. I love this uh, Terra Rosa, although it's not a uh, usual palette choice in a set of 12. I just. I know you know I'm just biased about this color I think I'll be using it a lot for my landscapes and even on building especially in um, in bricks Oops. Let's wash it a little bit. Let's let's go back to the Indian yellow.
this quinacridone rose is really strong and it's really staining I think but it's still transparent it's nice as well as the uh, phthalo blue really strong let's see if it's transparent it's really str it's really transparent still despite being very strong and finally sap green Among other brand, uh, among all the brands that I have, the sap green from M Gram is I think the most organic or most natural feeling or looking because any other brands like in Windsor Newton it is quite near to a to a hookers or like a more synthetic version but this in and gram it's more natural so here is my palette M gram 12 colors for my portable painter so in the coming days I hope I'd be able to use it often so that I can uh, make my review on my portable painter